So Five Nights at Freddy's seems to be dying down, finally. The games are still popular, yes, but not as huge as they used to be. Evidence from, uh, the viewers, from larger YouTubers playing the game, going down. Whether you like the game or hate it, it, I really don't care. It's all your own opinion. Also, before I start, keep in mind, anything I say, it's not to make fun of people who like the game, or the creator of the game, but if you are the kind of person to go around wearing this shit, you really need to stop and think about something that's wrong. I saw the shirt at Goodwill. I was uh, with my friends, Microsoft Word and BC Lee. God, I need some new friends, Jesus. Fucking name. And it was pretty bad. Uh, I was on my way out and I just saw this shit and I was I just saw the tip of the hat on an emoji and I was like oh god please don't let this be and there were like two kids related that were wearing the same shirt like why <laughs> but uh moving on uh just a bit of an update uh I couldn't find the shirt that I saw um it was a blue shirt and it had emojis which is already pretty trashy, but these emojis were changed to be Five Nights at Freddy's, which uh, it's not. It's not very good. Every time I see this shit, it's like, please, 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 don't let this be what I think it is. And just I look, I keep an eye. I don't awkwardly just stare at them until I see what's on their shirt or some shit, but yeah, it's, sometimes it's FNAF stuff, and I then want to die even more than I do now. An example of this, on Easter Sunday, I was dragged into church. A little side note, uh, I really don't make that big of a deal about it. I just, I just kinda, I'm not an asshole. I just kinda go to be polite. So yeah, I'm not that much of an asshole. The more you know. When we entered the chapel, we went to the back corner, which, uh, first, it was our first mistake, and there were two small children in front of us with their families. I swear to God, I was about to kill them by the end of the church ceremony thing. They, mm, just small children. People would be like, oh, you were a small child once. I don't honestly think I was that bad, but even then, yes, I was a child, but... That doesn't mean I have to put up with other children. Jesus, get off my back, Mom. I saw one of them playing with a dump truck toy. Uh, pretty, pretty badass. I think it was like, what's, I don't know the show, I'll look it up. I think it's like called Paw, Paw Patrol. The ones with the dogs, you know, they're in a dump truck, I guess, and they're just doing stuff. I, I don't know. Fucking. The other kid had some keychain thing, I don't fucking know, it was... Well, I do know what it is, but... It was, I don't know why he was playing with the keychain, honestly, I probably played with stupid stuff like that. Um, and I noticed... Hmm, that's a... That's a human kind of shaped figure? And then I noticed... It had a hook on its hand, and I was... Please let that be Peter Pan. Please. Oh, any other time in my life, I want this to be Peter Pan, and and it and it wasn't. It wasn't Peter. It wasn't Peter. Pan. Well, no, I guess Peter Pan's not the one with the hook. Uh, just kind of ruined my own joke there. The kid was like six years old. Like I could. Okay, I could say this was like a mistake by the parents. Like say it got a, a cute one that was just a fox, you know. I guess. But, you know, this thing had its, like, claws out, and its teeth was bared like it was about to fucking kill somebody. Like, the- You probably didn't hear that, but my dog is, uh, licking herself. Oh shit, I hope she didn't piss on my bed. I better- I better go- I better go take her out. Like, kid, you do- fucking shit. 
Like kid, you don't even know how to spell YouTube. Let it. Fuck. Like kid, you probably don't even know how to spell YouTube. Let unknown. Fuck. Kid, you probably don't even know. Fuck. <laughs> I've been trying this for the past three minutes, and I can't get it. Like kid, you shouldn't even know how to spell YouTube. Let alone know what Five Nights at Freddy's is. Okay, let's try again. Like kid, you probably don't even know how to spell YouTube. Let alone know what Five Nights at Freddy's is. Did it. Good job. I can't believe it. I'm proud of you. Even though I wasn't there, it still scarred me. My friend B. C. Lee went to Maine for a while, and uh, he went to his cousin's room, and he saw this thing. Show thing, in parentheses. I couldn't find a picture of it on Google, so I'm gonna guess this thing is like custom. It was. I asked him if he saw the picture. He obviously didn't, but like, it's just a face of the blue one from the second game, and it was like just its face. Why though? Why would you want that on a rug or carpet? I don't. I'm not very. I don't know the difference very well. Another time, this is this point, I had to go in my room and laugh. It was so funny to me at the time. But, uh, so I went on vacation one time, and, uh, I couldn't go to sleep, so I took a stroll. I saw a fat man wearing this shirt. Yeah. It was, like, worn to shit. Like, and it had some stains on it. Um, just... Like, this is his favorite, most favoritest, bestest, greatest shirt he's ever had. And he wears it around, hoping somebody will talk to him about the games. I don't... It was it was pretty bad. And then the next night, I went out again for another stroll. Uh, the guy was there again, wearing the same shirt. And... <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I don't think he washed it, honestly, there was still stains, like fresh stains on it too, like, mmm, must have rolled around in some, some nice ketchup, I mean, I'm not the cleanest eater either, but, um, what, what, I don't know where I'm going with this. Thanks for watching my video, uh, I don't have any more script, so, uh, I'm just kinda... Going off of a uh, tangent here, but uh, thank you for watching. If you actually watched the whole thing, probably just because you're a friend and I forced you to watch it. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty specimen. meme. Um, if you want to subscribe, that'd be that'd be very, very kind of you. Watch some of my other terrible videos. If this thing gets like a decent amount of views, I might make a second one. Um, I was planning on making it so the second one would be about people walking in the halls, maybe side by side, and they're on their phones, and they're taking so fucking long, and you can't get around them. Like, motherfucker, I have to get to class. Someone's calling me on my phone. Wait, Waco, Texas? And an email came- What is happening? Oh my god.